Wait, okay. do you really want to review it in a theater where people might be going to watch the movie? Okay, so we just saw Don't, Don't Breathe. Yeah. The I hesitate to call it a horror, it's a thriller. It has some weird grindhousey elements like towards the end that I don't really care for, I actually. I don't know what I would call this, but I'd think of it as a reverse home invasion film, because it's very similar to like other ones where like you have that setup. We're going to talk about what we liked first, um, and then I'm just basically going to rag on this movie, uh, because to be honest, I wasn't that fond of it. <laughs> it was a little bit disappointing. Um, I think that the cinematography was actually more than a little bit well done. There's some things that I really didn't like um, about the way that it was shot, specifically when it was doing these text message stuff. It would have this like camera with a blur effect that was very specific, and it would sort of scroll across the phone, and you couldn't really read what was going on. You couldn't really read the phone text because it was like there'd be two lines and the camera would would go past and it would blur out everything except for like just this little sliver so they'd have this sliver that sort of tracks with the camera but the aerial shots were nice i i wondered how they got those i um, love the um the uh hearing sort of like the synesthesia shots where like the lights were out and the characters were using their ears and so they represented it with that low you mean that where the cinematography would like fade to a gray? Yeah, like gray, and then anytime there was quiet, it would become muted into the background. That was that was neat. Yeah, I mean the gray filters were nice to communicate the and and obviously like the actors. I think that they filmed in darkness too, because the actors were kind of very convincing in in being in the darkness, and their eyes their would eyes. just stare. Yeah, I think like, they literally which filmed is, with night vision. Because yeah, they, they had to film with night humans vision. Humans can't control their eyes that like that, like through acting. Um, I really liked the. Uh, the villains in terms of like if you want to call them villains I really liked the old man and like the way that they constructed him as like a kid like he was threatening in the way of like a, a classic villain from like a, a Silent Hill or something I, no, uh, I don't know I thought he was uh, the no idea, not positive for the me. idea of his lack of um his lack of um complete information and the the, the sort of unpredictability of him was I, I at least I liked it, and I thought his eyes were used well to sort of. Get well, the the, the eyes effect. popped out, which was really like it was because well, the the eyes on the the main old man guy were popping out because they were using contact lenses with very specific kinds. So it's like the kind that you pop into your eye, and then it makes the eye kind of puff out. Uh, well, I also liked the actual iris itself. I thought the design of the. Um, wait, wait. I forget the the term for this, but the 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 cataract or whatever that was in front of his uh, irises looked really cool. I like the dog. I like the way they used the dog and the puzzles that she had to solve involving the dog. I don't know. Um, what else good do I have to say? The the soundtrack was all right. It was generic, but it get got the uh, the sort of emotions across. I think that it needed to in terms of the tension. They um. They, used, they developed the actual robbers, I thought, kind of decently, and like the girl especially, her conflict or her like personal flaws that drove them to continue pursuing the money. Like, I like that. Yeah, I guess there was like the, the greed is bad stuff that I was trying to go for. Um, well, and the, 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 the guy, okay, I forget his name right now, the, the really smart one, he like, um, his whole... But I, I like that each character had their own form of ingenuity. She Honestly, was, if I was him, I would have just rang the fucking thing. Like, yeah, yeah, anyway. I, I like, would've... I thought he was fucking stupid for, for not ringing the, the alarm. I like, think he was trying to be... His, one of his character traits was that he wanted to impress the girl. So, like, he was trying to get the money for the sister. And so he wasn't giving but up. I just on feel that. like there, it's, there's no way in hell that I wouldn't have pressed that button well, like would, a million would, years ago. After the shit so. that they'd been through, I don't think the money was worth it. They can get money some other way, but I don't know. I but what I mean by him is not that he made smart personal life decisions, but that he had problem solving skills it's which just, distinct from it's the like, ones that the other it's, characters. It's had. just really tiresome to see stupid fucking characters in a thriller horror thing, and it's like well, yeah, I wish I I prefer. Horror movies where the character always does the smartest option, 
you know? Yeah, you really have to do the smartest option and then figure out. But of course, they check off. Okay, I'm gonna rag about it a little bit over here because they check off his gun to everything. Like everything, like the camera would, you'd oh, you'd be like, oh, that hammer, that's gonna be used because well, the camera like lingers on it. Times, oh, that like, that thing is gonna be like used, and it's just like they got us used to it. They were also able to do a ton of misdirections over the course of the film. I wasn't ever misdirected. Did I was like, know, did you know that he was gonna use the the dead body? The dead, I actually did figure that out, and you did as well. We talked about that yeah, a little but bit. I was surprised that anyone else would think of that. Well, it was definitely Chekhov's because told, he moved it, and I, so that was kind of like, I thought oh. the dog was going to die almost every time it showed up, and it still didn't. So I was, I was at least... But that's not, that's not that. the same thing. Like, well, what I mean is, like, it's like the writers knew that we were expecting them to do this or that with that thing, and then just didn't do it because they knew the, the 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 stupid insemination bullshit is like stupid as fuck well i like the fact that it was at least like it like, was at least different from some other movies like he was using like tools and he was using like a, sort of like a fucked up like amateur version of artificial insemination like at least it wasn't the generic at least it wasn't rape yeah <laughs> is that well, what, basically like, it was like, rape it's, yeah it he was. didn't use a penis oh yeah it was no i'm not saying it wasn't i'm saying it wasn't like typical like an, an a writer is bullshit a writer one level below wouldn't have thought to make it more different is what i'm saying it, it, it's it, more different from other things. It like, was, I've never seen a villain do that. It was before. gross and stupid oh, yeah. and no, I'm not, fucking I'm, like... I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I'm just saying it, it's a level above what I've seen in other uh, movies. You know? I don't know. Like, if you involve, like, a pregnancy rape thing, it, like, by your main villain, then you're just... You've got run out of ideas. I was a little bit disappointed. You're fucking, like, uncreative as shit. I was a little bit disappointed because I thought that the idea was that he was trying to raise the, um... The women that came into his like house as just replacements for the daughter themselves. I thought he was That's gonna, what I thought too. I thought he was treating them like little girls, and they're like, "I'm gonna kill you," and he's like, "Eat your porridge," you know. But then it was it actually wasn't that. It was yeah, something else. It, it was pretty fucking. I was stupid. a little bit disappointed that they didn't the, try to go for something more. The, more. Different. I I still think that it's weird that and this is like a detail and stuff, but it's so weird that they came in at two a.m. And then there was, like, bright sunshine coming through the windows. And, like, don't deny that it wasn't sunshine, because it's totally sunshine. It was just, like, some sort of lack of detail or I something. I think maybe the idea was, a complete was that oversight. they came in late at night, so late. Like, it was, it was in the a.m., right? So maybe they came in so late that the sun was able to come up while they were robbing the house. I just don't buy it, because it wouldn't have taken them more than, like, like... 20 or 30 minutes to get to the One point where the sun was coming out. How the guy woke up so It would fast. have been like 2.30. Either, either they were looking for the money for a long time, and that's how come the guy was able to wake up from the No, because the gas. they thought that it was behind the locked door, like, immediately, and so they were just trying to break into that. So, it was like... But I'm saying, saying either they spent a lot of time searching through closets and stuff, or... He woke up really fast, and I have no idea how he did it, and I don't know how the sun came up fast. But if it took them a long time to search for the money, then that would explain why the sun was able to come up. This, the, to me, this felt like a a better shot but worse movie than Ten Cloverfield Lane. It was basically just like a really terrible version of Ten Cloverfield Lane. I need to watch Lane. that movie because I still don't know anything about it. But <laughs> um, I'm choking. Up. Um, I will say. One of the reasons I watch horror movies is to see the victims or the protagonists try to get their way out of the situation. And like the different solutions that they come up with. It's sort of like watching Sherlock Holmes the, an, or playing a puzzle game. Another thing I'm going to rag about is the audio mixing completely was was just bad for this movie. It was good in the sense that that the sound effects were all high quality and all that sort of stuff, but the leveling on the breathing was ridiculous to the point where I was like, how the fuck is this guy not hearing them when the people are breathing like <gasps> down the fucking mic? And it's just like it, it's it's insane how the the that they can have like, th someone deliberately is putting these sound effects in, and they didn't think for a second, like, wow, this is breaking suspension of disbelief on someone. It's... So, it's And the shoe-smelling thing? Yeah, that was I also fucking I, 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 I stupid. Why is he doing that? I didn't well, know it's like, oh, 
someone has some really nasty bunions. What, what <laughs> and then... I don't get you. So like, I, I thought the characters were already wearing shoes. Why did they have other shoes? Well, I can't remember why they took them off. Um, but it looked like she had boots on when she was running around the house after she took those shoes off. <sighs> I, I might be just confused and I thought socks were shoes or something, but I could have sworn the characters all had shoes on after that point. I like it when in horror movies they put a lot of thought into the ways that the characters solve problems. And I thought that this movie, despite the fact that the characters were really stupid, like horror movie, you know, greed causes you to make a mistake. You know, Jesus they had a Christ, lot of those problems. They, they were pretty creative with the ways that they actually solved the physical situation and the physical, you know, puzzles. Like, especially the girl, and I like the planning that the one guy had. Um, he, he, his philosophy about robberies where he did everything logistically was nice because it differentiated him from money like the other guy. Well, uh... The, the setup for that character, you remember when they broke into that rich person's house at the beginning? Was he like, didn't he like do some douchey stuff out of nowhere? Yeah, which yeah, which was completely like counter to the character money, growth. Money was the one who was um, trashing the house. Money was the one trashing the house and yeah. not the guy like the other money, guy? The, the, the guy who was actually dating um, the main character girl. She, um, yeah, he was the one that was pissing on the floor okay. and breaking things. The logistics guy didn't want to steal cash because it would change what kind of crime it was. He didn't want a gun. So you're, I just missed that then and because was it was like, I was writing some notes, but, but. And he even broke the window so that they would think it wasn't the security system at fault. But why was, the fuck would he even get like pulled into doing this stuff in the first place? Because again, it seems really counter well, to his he, character. He was trying, one of the things about him was that he was always trying to impress uh, the main character. Which I forget her name right now. It's like how did he even wind up like he was friends interacting with, with her at all? As far as I know, he was friends with them. How old was she? Was she like she was a parent, but it was like she acted like a fucking she, teenager and looked you know, like a thirty-year-old. That was her sister. That girl she was trying to help. I could have sworn that that was her sister. Is a sister? Yeah. She, I'm really confused about this character's age. The mother. Uh, I'm also confused about what the whose point of view we're actually following the film from, because it was like everyone's and yet. No one's, and there was the one guy who died really early on, and he had like he a brief least, motivation was, that didn't pay off at all. He was the least main of the main characters. It was yeah, but they even dedicated a scene to him. So why even do that? It's like, oh man, I have to pay off this guy or whatever. Well, you know that he was well if, if, in the trailers. He he creates this impression that you're supposed to be rooting for the old man, but in the movie, it's to create this conflict for the for the guy and the girl, like. The main guy wants to impress the girl, so he's trying to help her do what she wants to do. He, you know, eh. he's doing all this stuff, and that guy is a wedge in so between the two. It's of a them. rocky first act, actually. Well, it also explains why he was willing to keep risking their lives at the end of the movie because he told her that he would do whatever she wanted to do, and since she was going for the money, he decided to keep going for the money as well. Well, the reason why I think it's a rocky opening and like first act and stuff is because it's not like these some scenes could be cut or trimmed from even the opening to make way for like the important the more important two characters that were more like focused on the movie. The third character was literally just there to die and set the stakes. So it was like completely like worthless to even have a scene with him like establishing any kind of visual motivation. I Yes, it, but it was like she. We want also to empathize with the fact that the girl cares about money. So, you know, like by getting to know him a little bit, it it allows us to have some context for her relationship with him and why she's not just with the other guy from the start. You know. Eh. Yeah, I didn't we get why she seeing, was even with him at all. We were basically just seeing the end of those most of the characters. Yeah, lives. I mean, we don't have to see everything, but it's just like they didn't. In my opinion, they didn't do a good job leading into who they were. Well, I wish that. Uh, okay, I'm sorry I keep talking about money, but I wish that he had been less of like. It's the so confusing because like money is actually like a plot point in the film. So money, yeah, his name's money. She loves money. She loves money, and she loves money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she doesn't love money. She loves. She she w loves the freedom that money gives her because it allows her to help her sister. But you know what I mean. Freedom, right? Yeah, because the money is the power I, to escape from her situation. That's a d too deep for me way of looking at it. But well, yeah, I'm 
It's not. I mean, I I'm thought just, she <laughs> doesn't actually want to spend the money on the, anything for herself. The, she cares about the, nothing but the sister. It's just like. I mean, do, do we know any possessions or worldly like interests she has? She doesn't besides like, to drink. like going to California she and stuff. She wants to go to California to help her sister, and that's it. Instead of Michigan, I would rather just go to California instead of Michigan. Does it's, Michigan like, have beaches? <laughs> Michigan actually does because it has the Great Lake, which is a really great swimming location and stuff. So, anyway, um, can you go surfing on a lake. I don't think you can. Pff, that's what she. That's what she wanted to do the heist for, and why she didn't push the button was because well, that she surfing. Pushing, she's a, she's dreaming a little bit bigger than just <laughs> leaving the mom. You see why I'm like this is so weak in some ways. Well, uh, again, it's the the greed it, thing. It's like too much, right? She couldn't just stop it escaping with her life or escaping the the mother. Yeah, she has yeah, to, but, like, but go all the way I, to California. I don't. I don't like it. I don't. I don't. It doesn't ring well with me. It doesn't like. Because like okay, I don't buy it. Is, we keep referring to this Ironically. theme of greed, but I definitely think it was almost going for a more simple pushing your luck. Into well, the, the the whole ladybug thing, I knew that was going to happen. The ladybug thing, because they set it up so deliberately. Well, it was it's like, like, is the ladybug gonna... even literally there? Or is it just her like mind? Like, yeah, well, I don't know or care. It could just represent it, either way, the it fact the that same she thing. realized she had an opportunity to... Yeah, no, it was like, oh, the spark of light in the darkest of times. Which was, uh, this movie followed a three-act structure very, very, like, deliberately. Yeah, you could, um, see, you could see that going. It was like, oh, this is the dark moment, and then we're gonna have, like, the, this, uh, this, like, the opportunity, the catalyst to reignite the hope and stuff. Um, you know, I'm glad the dog didn't die. I know I keep saying, t talking about the dog, but I just, I was, I'm so used to just animals dying in movies, and I was like, okay. I mean, I guess another good thing is that the performances were decent. They were good, yeah, right? I thought the performances were good. But, um, um, the ladybug backstory was fucking bullshit. With, it, with like her being locked way? in a trunk and well, stuff by he, her mother. It connected to the fact for that she, hours. She the used fuck? the car. She used the car later in, in a puzzle. I mean, like, like the trunk solitary of the car. confinement in a trunk. Oh well, yeah. Why I the fuck? I don't believe that a woman would treat oh. her daughter that way just after. I mean, in a trunk too. Like, w what? Maybe the movie. The you don't have some closet that you have a lock on or some shit. Maybe the writer was listening to old Eminem songs. Look, look. If you if you want a solitary confinement, your children, make sure you do it properly. None of this like half-ass like trunk stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Don't give people advice about how to do that. <laughs> So, you have any last uh, op opinions on the film? As um, we, I thought it was it really was fond of some horror movie tropes that were really tired, and that there were some big problems with the uh, believability of certain character motivations. But I kind of enjoyed it for that whole, you know, gets your brain thinking, um, like literal situation type of horror. But I, I didn't think it was that deep. What do you, do you no, I, I don't think it was that deep either. It was okay at giving you a sort of thriller atmosphere and stuff. Um, the suspension of disbelief was broken in several si key situations and stuff. And, you know, I just feel like thrillers and horrors need to have a, a huge attention to detail. Like a huge attention to detail. I think that the villain could because have been it's a like character also. anything that is, isn't is going to just rip me right the fuck out. So. And the, the villain had a shit fucking motivation. I, I I imagined, like, when I saw the trailer, him being, like, really sympathetic and that it was just like... Yeah, no, I was kind of like, I was like, this is really interesting because people are breaking into his house and he's in the right Yeah, it's here, like he has the right In to a weird them, way, even though he's being overly way, violent. Yeah, but then so, it's like, the movie kind of just made it out that he was just Yeah, I, I almost would have liked to have seen more of a morally gray thing instead of just evil, like, rapist guy, like, thing. It's, it, you know, it's like this, there's a, there is a decent movie, like, somewhere in this idea. And it's like, and the execution was, was, was good enough to the point where it's like, if it had done a few things, like, differently, and... Yeah took out the fucking like stupid crap then it would have been a pretty good movie as as it stands it's a little bit disappointing yeah you have any more things to add or is that is that good i don't know it's kind of hard to tell people recommend a film after i just was talking was spoiling about everything it. yeah we, this is a spoiler thing if you don't rewatch it we recommend that you don't rewatch this movie yeah just either watch this movie without <laughs> watching this video which is impossible or watch our review and don't watch the movie, but don't don't do both. <laughs> well, you want to say goodbye?
say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we, we also forgot, but this fucking movie decided that it was gonna end on a fucking cliffhanger, like, uh, not cliffhanger, but a it was like, sequel bait. Yeah, it was a sequel bait. It was an ambiguous ending, which I liked, but it was a sequel bait, which, I, uh, which is not... Great horror movie. Come on, can you just make a new blind character if you want a sequel? We, we can never have more than one of these amazing masterpiece but it, films. But it, it could be cool. They could make like a girl blind character that's like actually, you know, you know, different from this one. That could be fun. Why does it have to be him again? She inseminates herself, kidnaps the men. No, that's not... You know, it sounds like a great time, actually. No, I wouldn't watch that movie. <laughs>